What's up automation engineers? So in this video we're going to talk about within command. This is an interesting command and it's really really simple. Now um, I got this example page. In here we got container 1 and 2. If you uh, check out the ID we got a container 1 and 2 IDs. Within them we got two input tags. Um, the ID of the, the element is email on the first one and second one also. Uh, it's the same thing but um, you know you shouldn't see something like this in your application because ID should be unique but I just want to showcase the feature so I got same ID for both of these elements now let's go to the code I'm going to see if I get let's get the email uh, element and I'm going to type let's uh, let's type hello world you can see it's typing on the first one now when you pass an id into get command it's going to find the first element and it's going to stop there you know usually get get command will get all the elements but because this is an id and it should be unique in the page so it will stop here in the first one and not continue to the second one but let's say we can isolate this area you know the container 2 area and run the same command you know see if i get email let's try that using um, um let's try that using cy um, within first i'm going to get the container container 2 we got the container now I'm going to call within command I'm going to pass an anonymous function into this now I'm going to copy the same thing we had earlier let's uncomment that now when you run that you can see it's typing on the second one so we can use within command to isolate some um, some kind of a section and run commands within that now when when it's going to you know find this element you know email uh, element with an id email it's going to search within this section not in the whole page so that's kind of handy when you're working with comp complex applications and stuff uh, because you can you can focus on a um, a form a particular form you want to you know uh, change and i don't know whatever okay now uh, there is one more advantage um, so I got this second page where I am you know just basically accessing the first one using an iframe so this whole page is an iframe so let's change the URL to this one so we got iframe right now now let's try to run this one you can see it's failing obviously because we got an iframe and uh, Cypress cannot find something like this in the page. So let's handle the iframe. See if I get. Let's find find the iframe, and um, I'm going to access its zero index and get the content uh, document. And let's get the body as well. Now we should be able to uh, call within. On that uh, body tag now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same thing we had earlier once again then let's save this one you can see it typed the value onto the first one so cool so now you see um, let's say you have a um, do build and beta build and beta build is the is in a iframe or whatever uh, uh, we had the same kind of scenario in uh, in my company so um i don't have to change locators but uh, only only you know um only call within command and you know just call whatever within that within command <laughs> okay now we can nest within commands let's call cy get and let's put container two and call within that let's move this into the um, 
callback function now it's going to type on the second one but good failed what happened okay i forgot the hash okay so this is it it's really simple but really useful um but um i think there is one more option we can add that's log so let's say oops um we can pass log option into uh within command i guess actually did not try this one wait option is the first one right yep first one so let's get rid of let's cut this one and let's go to the and put a comma remove the comma okay now it's typing but um you know it's not showing the within command here if you set it to uh true it's going to show the uh within command you can see let me do that again false so no with command that's it so thanks for watching have a nice day